Hey guys, Gokusum for the win here, and welcome to Poke News Sunday. Now I'll be reporting the news that I've missed for the last two weeks since I was at EVO 2016 and I couldn't do it. So let's get straight into the news. Now a bunch of Pokemon Sun and Moon news has been announced during the last two weeks, and with it we've got a trailer that showed off a bunch of new Pokemon. The first Pokemon showing off was Wimpod. It's a bug water type and it has the ability Wimp Out, which makes him flee from battle when his health reaches 50% or lower. The second Pokemon revealed was Bonsweet. It's a pure grass type and has the abilities Leaf Guard and Oblivious. Comfrey was the third Pokemon showing off and this Pokemon is a fairy type, with the abilities Flower Veil and Tri-Age. The fourth Pokemon was Mudsdale. It's a ground type and it has the abilities Own Temple and Stamina. The fifth Pokemon was Mimikayu. It's a fairy slash ghost type and has the ability Disguise. The ability allows Mimikayu to have a pre-made substitute. Where was the final Pokemon showing off? It's a fighting normal type and gets the abilities Fluffy and Klutz. Now on top of these Pokemon that were revealed, it was also announced that we'll be able to host our own battle competitions on the Pokemon Global Link. And a new feature called Hyper Training was announced. This allows you to increase Pokemon's IVs by exchanging bottle caps. Now moving into some important news, the global link for Gen 6 will be shut down as of late October 2016, so they can make adjustments for the Sun and Moon global link. Now they will leave the GTS, Wonder Trade, and Free Battle system online, so don't worry about that. Now for the last bit of Sun and Moon news today, Japan has gained two new 3DS themes with a 3DS bundle. Now these 3DS themes, one of them's a Pikachu one, and one of them is a Sogalio and Lunala. Hopefully North America will get one of these, but we'll wait and see. So moving into some Pokken news, Darkrai has been announced for the arcade version, and I'm pretty sure they'll release him for the Wii U version too in the future. Now for the last bit of news today, I've got some Pokemon Go news. During the San Diego Comic Con panel, a future update for the game was revealed. The first artwork for the gym leaders of Pokemon Go were showing off, and it was said that they'll have further roles in the game. That's all I have for you guys today, I hope you enjoyed, if you did make sure to subscribe for more Pokemon news every Sunday, and remember to shoot that like button with Kamehameha.